This is a quick video just to explain a script that I created recently. Um, I created this primarily to use with V-Ray Pattern, but um, it's probably useful anywhere where you need to create geometry which uh, tiles in every direction. Uh, especially where you have geometry which overlaps the, the cuts where it tiles. Uh, that was why I originally created it, because I got tired of doing that manually. Um, so I've always used it myself, but if I release it out there into the wild, hopefully it might be useful for someone else who can probably improve upon it as well. Um, so once you've installed it and you know gone about setting it up as a button in the usual way, it comes up with a fairly straightforward interface. Um, the first thing you want to do is set yourself a base. It doesn't have to be square, um, but you give yourself some basic dimensions here. I haven't sorted out the tabbing yet, so it goes to the tab between them and hit create base. Okay, so this is the extents of the tile. You can then use any standard modeling to create geometry, and just for this demonstration, I'm just going to chuck some boxes at it. So let's just create a few boxes varying heights something like this and maybe move these around a little and the idea is here that of course the, the, this when this tile they would they would overlap the edges uh, which normally you'd have to kind of cut the ends off and put them on the other side so that's hopefully what this is supposed to help out with um, hopefully it does Clone it. Some different heights. Okay. So once you've say worked out uh, the shape you want, um, all you need to do then is add these to the to the base tile. Uh, you do this simply by clicking on each one in turn and hitting attach object, and the color should change to match the base. If you wish later on to remove this plane here, this blank plane, and um, you can just click on remove ref plane, um, and that, that basically it just removes the sort of first polygon that was created. So if you hit it more much, it's going to start nibbling away at your boxes. So just be careful, kind of with that. When you've got something you're roughly happy with, you can hit create tile, and this gives you the kind of trimmed version, uh, trimmed and basically. Um, kind of overlapped so the stuff that came off this end has rejoined this side here and you get a sense of um, what that may look like as a finished tileable pattern if you want to preview it you can hit preview pattern here and then you can see it as a tiling object and, and um, hopefully everything overlaps the, the cuts and uh, lines up nicely you can delete these two um, and you can also edit them live, so if, it does go a bit awry at the moment, but if I go in here and start fiddling with this, you should see that I can, as I move this around, you can see it update on there, and also on the preview, uh, although it gets a bit hectic, you can see how that's affecting the preview. So that's quite cool, because you can do extra bits and pieces. If you so wish. Including cloning and, and adding extra stuff to the to the geometry if that's something you really want to do. Okay, so I think that's uh, that's pretty straightforward. I'll remove the reference plane, so now I've got that kind of pattern without the reference plane in it. Maybe duplicate this one. This isn't particularly a pattern I don't know what I'm doing, just playing, but you get the idea. When I click off of that, then everything here returns to normal. Okay, so once you've got a pattern that you're happy with, let's imagine, for example, that that's a wonderful design, not what it is, a load of boxes. Um, when you're happy with it, you just hit bake tile like that and that turns this temporary test pattern into uh, a finished single piece of geometry which you can then use to um, in, in a paneling 
plug-in or VA pattern in my case, or, or you can just clone around so that it it tiles, and it should tile in every direction. If you want to keep making uh, other versions of this, so you've sort of locked off one that you might be happy with, um, you can keep doing that based on this one by creating another temporary tile and then making another change. Say so I've decided I want to rotate that a little. Maybe move that one. Um, then you can just bake that tile and then we have another one there which you can use. You can basically keep doing that to get a, a whole host of different variations. Okay, so once that's done, um, I'll just what I'll do is quickly just prove that that kind of works and, uh, and ch chuck it onto a torus knot to prove that it tiles. So manage layers. Okay. So as I said, I use I'm using V-ray pattern, um, so I'm going to use that one. I'm going to go to V-ray pattern. Point in the scene, pick the pattern. I tend with V-ray pattern if you've used it, but I tend to use, uh, I tend to just increase the Z a little because I like to find it clips the top and bottom off a touch. Uh, choose your surface, which would be the torus knot there. Um, I can leave the rest alone. Let's make the surface not renderable, it's fine. Let's set up as it is. Um, let's just put the material on that. screen there, sorry about that. Okay, so just going to render this and um, I'll be back when it renders. So, uh, okay, there we have it. Uh, that's your pattern. Hopefully you can't see the seams. Um, I hope someone can find a use for it. Thanks.